Okay, so let's take a look at this slide. So again, we're going to want to look from left to right. And I always start looking in my EEG first, and then I look at my eyes. Um, so looking at this EEG, there are some things that really stick out to me. First of all, my um, waves look much bigger than they did in any of my other examples so far. And when I I also notice with these red dotted lines, the negative 37 and a half above and below the, the baseline of that channel, I'm noticing some of these waves are actually going beyond it. So this one right here, let's see if I can. So this one right here went outside of the dotted lines. This one right here went outside of the dotted lines. This one did, this one did. This one did. It's really hard to circle with just your finger. Um, over here, this one did. 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 You could probably count that right there. This one I would count. Um, that one I could probably count. And this one, you know, wouldn't hurt to count it as well. So all of those are going above and beyond that red dotted line. So when it goes beyond the red dotted line, that means it is 75 microvolts in amplitude. So that's how tall the wave is. So again, on this epic, we're seeing really tall waves. And also, if you'll notice, they're really wide. Okay, if you look at the distance... Um, of one wave like this one right here look how wide that thing is okay same with this one look how wide that is that's over half a second long some of them are like here's another one it's over half a second long in in width so those aren't k complexes because they're just huge and there's so many of them um so let's take a closer up view okay so let's take a closer view of just six seconds of that previous slide now remember, this is just a six second snippet, okay? So first we need, in order for us to have delta waves, it needs to be 75 microvolts in height, and it needs to be a half to two hertz per second. So first let's identify which waves are at least 75 microvolts, okay? So I'm gonna use my little purple pen here, and this one right here, okay? That one meets the criteria. Okay, this one right here meets the criteria. This one right here meets the criteria. I would count that all as one wave there. Um, so it looks like, and this one, this one meets it, I guess. This one meets it. Oh, this one doesn't because it doesn't go below, it only goes above. So this one doesn't meet it. So that's it. Okay. So that's our first step, it needs to be 75 microvolts. Now our next item, it needs to be a half to two hertz per second. So now let's count in this first second, how many hertz we count. And this is where it gets a little subjective, okay? So I would count this wave right here as one, okay? And I would count this as two, okay? Now some people might count this next one because it starts within the second, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to say that's two hertz. So right here we have this one second makes up delta. Okay, now if we go to second two here, here I would count one, here I would count two, here I would count three waves. Well, delta is only a half to two hertz per second. This is three hertz, so that is not a delta wave in that one. That one would not be counted as delta. So that second is a no. Okay, now let's look at this next second. This is our third second over. I would count here's one wave. Here's, oops, here's two waves. Sorry, that got away from me there. Um, and again, this would actually be three. But if I count down here, I really only count one, two. So it kind of depends where you count. So I would count this third one as a delta wave. Okay, so so far we have two seconds of delta. Um, next, this wave goes out of the um, out of the 75 microvolts range. So this one I could count one, 
here to here. So this would be delta. Oh, I'm just making a mess of this picture. Um, <laughs> the next second over is second four. Again, I count one, two waves. So that one would be delta. And then the last one doesn't meet the microvolts um, requirement. So uh, in this little snippet of six seconds, I already have one, two, three, four seconds of, that I've counted as delta. And remember for the whole epoch, so if I'd actually look at that whole epoch again, you need to have six of those uh, um, six seconds need to be made up of delta activity. So overall that epoch I would count as delta. If you have questions about this, make sure you post them in the discussion.